Memphar with their new song, Death Inside, man. Last track, banger, MMF. It's a, yeah, M, yeah, back, they're back. <laughs> Anyways, why waste time? Excite, Nick Knock merch. If banger Spotify post, I'll be streaming on Twitch, right after videos, I'll let's say twitch.tv slash Nick Knock, there I'll link in the description below. A lot of releases today, excited, let's go. Warning. Oh, all right, warning. Gee, oh, I see why. Wow. WTF. Okay. Ooh. Bridging it up, bro. Maddie Smith? Kind of? Dude, those are rips. Oh! Harmonix! Hmm. Is that the same room as the last video? Saving the budget. All right. Hook me in. Nice, nah, so. nah, so. fun. Dude, I love how Kellen's just ripping. Like, just, he's going about it. Love the panning. Dances up. Nice. The tail and the chorus is solid. Love. Energy, man. Mm. Breakdown. Breakdown. I know it. We know it. He knows it's over there. He knows it's over there. You know it's in there. It's coming. Oh. What? It's a fucking rip. It's, it's all stank. That's it. I'm not done yet, bro! The fuck? Alright. Back to chorus. How are we ending, though? Our smash? Okay, dude, bands with their goddamn like, ooh, I'm not here anymore, I'm not here, and then bleh. You always got to be careful nowadays. I'm like, uh, are we done here? Like, legit? And they were done legit. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Guitars, let's just get this out, let's, let's just get this straight. Kellen is, is a fucking monster on that instrument, <laughs> okay? Like, out of any, like, metalcore-ish post-art, like, I don't know, that metalcore post art core kind of area bands... Like, this dude rips ridiculously hard. Um, you know, even if some of the stuff is not, like, on the surface, like, here is my shiny riffs and, and all that, even though there are non-stop chunky-ass riffs going on, he has so much underlying fun with the layers, it's, it's amazing to hear, right? Like, I want to listen to this again just to hear all the other guitar stuff I missed because I was too busy talking and going, oh my god, riffs! <laughs> you know? So... Absolutely love the guitar work. It's uniquely him, and he he just brings so much fun energy and riffage to, to the tracks. Yeah, absolutely like MVP to my dude Kellen. Um, drums too, man. Great solid drums, keeping up a lot of energy, a lot of fun little different types of grooves to kind of excite things, especially during that verse where again Maddie was kind of like not really rapping but spitting. I'm gonna say spitting. Let's say that. 
Um, love like kind of the hi hat, more so choice with like that really fun riff intertwined as well. Yeah, um, great job. Um, bass is an instrument, and then vocals, man. All right, Maddie. You know he he he's he's got wonderful screams, wonderful cleans, all of that. Uh, I think during the the verses, I loved again him trying that like spitting. I don't know if he's done that before on a Memphis track. I don't think so. Again, it wasn't really rapping, but it was like almost stylized like it. Uh, I thought that was a cool, you know, inclusion of that basically. And then again, just normal rhythmic placements of the screams were solid. And then the the chorus hook, right? Good chorus hook. I think the chorus overall is good. Not their best. That's really that. That's really my only gripe. I'd say so far is just. You think the chorus was good? I think it blended with the song well. Um, did not catch me as well as even like the last song they released with that chorus. That's really it. That was just a good chorus, but nothing that's like an earworm specifically for me. Um, but yeah, all that, Maddie absolutely killed it. Brought some chunk, brought some rars. Great job, man. Overall audio, solid track. I love. I, you know, it's, it's not like too crazy, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, all that. Sure, but they do it well, and the actual parts are very fun and unique, even though structurally it may not be super unique, right? Um, again, the chorus, I think it was good. Not my favorite by them, but I think it was definitely well done. And then the only thing, uh, only other two things, which again, a little, little smaller things. So breakdown hit, man, it was that a good ass breakdown. That was good. That was chunky, a lot of riffage, a lot of uniqueness, very fun heaviness. Uh, wh 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 where did it go? It, it's, wh where did it go? Did 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 Satan only have like a two day stay at like the the Hilton or some shit? Like, what about the whole week? Why didn't you let him stay a little longer? Um, so yeah, dipping out fast, you know. Especially, you know, it's only like a three minute twenty second song. Like, you, you can you can throw another eight bars in there, maybe, you know, or or four bars or something, something a little more. Uh, but all right, fine, fine. And then they end on chorus, and I thought they were going to go back to something else, whether it be that chunky riff or even kind of revisit the breakdown or do something new or do a chorus 2.0. Uh, they just do chorus, and they're like, peace. And I was like, all right. Like, it, it was, it definitely tied it together, but it wasn't like, um, it didn't fully, I guess, satisfy all of the leftover energy, which was going for that. I was like, just, just need a little bit more. Um, that's really it. Other than that, I think it's just, again, I'm just being nitpicky. I think it's a solid track overall. Uh, video, this was the same, this is the same video from the last video, I think. It's just, it's blue now. So, hey man, respect to them. They were like, they were probably with their label. Like, dude, we got like film like, a couple music videos. Like, how do we do this? Like in like whatever, you know, normal album time constraints and stuff. And they're like, bro, just film two music videos in the same place. <laughs> like. Unless it's a different place, but I, I, I don't see how that like it looks so similar. Um, so yeah, hey, respect for that, man. Thinking thinking outside the box, man. You know, <laughs> maybe they use that budget instead to just make huger breakdowns. I'm not complaining, like I said. Um, yeah, other than that, man, I think this is a solid track. I think it's a cool follow up. The shining points were definitely the guitar work. Um, yeah, <laughs> and, and I like the little bit of uniqueness and twists. Um, but yeah, it's definitely like a continuation of, I'd say like that last track's vibe. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's a great, good track. I give it a four. I give it, I give it a 3.75. I give it a four. I think it's a solid track. No real complaints except just like in cutting it at the end, breakdown felt a little like, oh, where's the rest of it? Um, and, and the course was good, but not hitting as hard as the last one. That's really it. Great track overall. If you guys like this song, go show them the love. Link to the original videos down below in the description. I'm very excited for New Memphis. I'm glad they're back and killing it and doing the heavy chunkage. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below. Comment your thoughts on New Memphis. Would love to hear it. You like this song more? You like the last one? Let me know, dude. And uh, yeah, Nick Knock merch. Um, Spotify playlist. I'll be streaming on Twitch right after this video. I'll play twitch.tv slash Nick Knock. Link in the description below. A lot of releases this week. I'm going to be uh, special thanks to a few of my patrons. Thank you guys so much for support. Really, really appreciate it. If you so far are interested in becoming a patron, access a bunch of cool perks, tab tracks, and much more. It's going to be in the description now. If you want to watch more videos, you can click right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.